the only bird with a bill longer than its body? That exists, the sword-billed hummingbird. Picture this, a tiny thrumming body and a straight gleaming rapier of a beak that outmeasures it. Why? Because evolution loves a good lock and key. Up in the Andes, Colombia. Bolivia, cool cloud forests around 2,000 to 3,500 meters flowers with deep trumpeting tubes. Most birds can't reach. This one can. That bill can top 10 to 12 centimeters. The bird, not much more if you don't count the tail. It hovers, slides that bill in, tongue, long, split, springy, flicks nectar out like a tiny pump. In return, it dusts its face in pollen and becomes the perfect courier for flowers like Brugmansia passiflora. Specialist, not generalist. Now, the catch. With a sword for a face, preening's a problem. So it cleans with its feet and rests with that bill angled skyward like a little flagpole. Awkward? Yes. Effective? Also yes. Heart racing, wings a blur, dozens of beats each second, it burns fuel fast. Cold Andean nights, it powers down into torpor, a hummingbird version of sleep mode to make it till sunrise. Males guard nectar stations like grumpy landlords. Females handle the nest, a delicate cup on a mossy branch, two pearls of eggs and a lot of hovering deliveries. And that super bill isn't just for sipping. In aerial duels, it's a fence. Flash faint, back off. Rarely a stab, mostly a statement. This flower's mine. Best bit? It proves an elegant rule. When a niche is narrow, the design gets wild. A bird that grew a key to a locked door and then built its life around it.